We're eating Publix chicken tender subs for the entire day with the sole purpose of determining which is the best flavor. Since we moved to Florida, I've tried as many pub subs as I possibly could, but we left the best for last. So which chicken tender pub sub is gonna get the pub dub? Thank you. You're welcome. This is Ashley. We might see her again. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Thank you. Breakfast sub secure! Pub sub number one of the day, the chicken tender barbecue. Get in there. It looks, oh, an absolute beast of a sandwich. Barbecue chicken tender pub sub. Barbecue sauce tossed with the chicken tender. So they cut it up, choppy, choppy, chop. So it's evenly distributed. That is the key move for this sandwich. From there, for the barbecue one, we're doing cheddar cheese, a nice classic flavor combination. Little lettuce, onion, some green peppers. I love green peppers and jalapenos. No additional sauces. I think we have plenty, all we need for this. First bite, happy breakfast. Good Lord. There is so much barbecue sauce on this, like an incredible amount. <laughs> I am just messy right now. I'm dripping. Just very sweet, very sugary. A little mesquite, little, little, got that barbecue boldness going, but definitely nothing in like the, the spicy category. I think the raw onions, honestly, very much a move for this. This reminds me, oddly enough, of the McRib. The close-up cam, oh my God. This is just, as messy as this is, this thing is, just delightful. The chicken tender sub is truly beautiful. There's no debate on that. The chicken tender sub is a beautiful sandwich. The debate here is which flavor is the best. The way that they just chop up the chicken tender, it's not just like they lazily lay on two tenders on a sandwich. They put care into it. The chicken tender pub sub is probably the best sub of the chain game. Better than any Subway sub. Yeah, Hot Belly, Jimmy John's, Jersey Mike's even. That's close. Go back to the close-up cam. How am I gonna eat this? Look at this. Final thoughts on the breakfast chicken tender pub sub, AKA the McRib pub sub. Very heavy on the barbecue sauce. It might be almost too much barbecue sauce. So while the toss is a great pro move, I think we went a little heavy on it. Very strong start for the breakfast chicken tender pub sub. Onward to lunch. <laughs> ah, it's lunchtime, sub number two. Welcome to Publix. Just kidding, come on. We're back. Hi. She's still on shift. Are you gonna be the one to make my sandwich too? That'd be the best. So what time is your shift over with? Eight o'clock. We might see you for dinner too then. Okay. <laughs> Mustard extravaganza pub sub. Oh, this one's also a messy one. Look at it tangle. <laughs> Look at the tangle on the chicken. So for this sandwich, a little bit of honey mustard, a little bit of the Dijon A's. My favorite thing that they have here in my whole journey of Publix, Dijon A's is always a hit. So we didn't toss it. We just got the chicken tenders chopped up and just a nice squirt over. Lettuce, green pepper, jalapenos, cucumbers this time, some black pepper. I didn't do salt and pepper because I think there's more than enough salt to the chicken tenders. Oh, and pepper jack cheese. It's beautiful. Mm. She absolutely loaded up on the chicken tenders on this. Look at it. Dijon Ace has a nice kick to it. Really helps like round out the entire thing. The honey mustard's not too sweet there. I really like. So this sub, it's less sweet than the barbecue. No onions on this one. I think I prefer it without onions. I think the onions might be a little bit too much for this flavor combo, but with the barbecue, it balanced out perfectly. I think with how much is piled on here, I don't really get a lot of the cheese, which is really on me. Is the mustard extravaganza the way to go? I don't think this is for everybody. I think you have to really like mustard, spicy mustards, sweet mustards. Just be a connoisseur of all the mustards. No matter what you do, one thing you can always agree on at the chicken tender sub, one, it's delicious. Two, it's messy no matter how you get it, unless you get it dry. But even then, like, then it's just dry. Got a little bit of mess with this baby. Is it better than the barbecue one? I don't think it is. But will it be better than the dinner? Definitely have a case of the itis after the second one. First one went down great. Second one, 
body's just like chicken tenders and bread all day, like that's, that's all, you can do better than that. We're gonna be ready for dinner. It's dinner time, it's time for the main event. <laughs> the most commented, most requested, most praised, the holy grail of chicken tender pub subs, the buffalo chicken, and I'm getting with ranch because blue cheese is disgusting. I am team ranch all the way. Also, I'm very excited because we might be getting the same person that has made our other two previous subs. So I feel like we just made a friend. I'm excited to see them. Also, I got her a little gift. Hello, welcome to Moby's. Thank you. She's here. I'm so excited. It's dinner time. <laughs> it is dinner time. While I would love to eat in a dark Publix parking lot, I figured it'd be best to take it back to Yucking Headquarters. Oh yeah. First off, thank you to Ashley for the day. Thank you. And I want to give you this because you've been amazing oh, today. Thank you. Thank you. Like, this was amazing. Thanks. Definitely hit that button. <laughs> She knows what's up. All right, thank you so much. The final chicken tender Publix pub sub. Chicken tenders, tossed in buffalo sauce, pepper jack cheese, lettuce, and ranch. Team ranch, not blue cheese. First bite. That's delightful. Not as many veggies on this one. By design though. I think the buffalo, the ranch, the lettuce, the pepper jack, you just want it to be straightforward on this one. Just really want to focus on the ranch and the buffalo tango they have going on. Mm. What I love about the buffalo, not really a lot of heat, but it's not overpowering. It's all just really balanced, working together, absolute delight. But is it better than the barbecue or the honey mustard? If you like what you're seeing, please comment below and tell us where I should go next and I'll make that happen. Let's break down the day. In third place, I'm gonna have to go mustard mania. While I usually love mustards on my sub, any kind of mustard, I'm just a mustard man. For some reason with the chicken tenders, it just wasn't working as well as some of these sauces do. So that leads me to the barbecue and the buffalo. I feel like the barbecue had way more punch with flavor. It's an absolute flavor bomb. Very reminiscent of the McRib. And the onions really did help out. Buffalo, it's more classic. I normally don't get ranch on a lot of things, but I think the ranch works well here. Second ranked, barbecue, which means number one, the buffalo chicken. The best pub sub of all the pub subs, the buffalo chicken gets the pub dub. Don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't. 